Yeah, it's the freedom. You know, it's the freedom to be able to be at the kids' uh, soccer training if, if needed, or uh, to get down to the beach for a swim early morning, um, and, and not to have to commute into the city. Uh, it, it being your own boss, being answerable to yourself, I find is really motivating. Uh, gets me out of bed in the morning. And uh, yeah, I love it. I, I hate to think I'll have to go back and work for a, a corporate again. I like the flexibility of being able to work your own hours, of make your own decisions of the growth of your business. I like working with people. I can choose who I work with. And I like the challenge of thinking, which way am I going to go this way? Because there's so many options. And coming to places like the um, Miranda Chamber of Commerce Breakfast gives you opportunity to meet new people and say, yes, I could work with those people or I could work with this person or this company. And I find that fabulous. For me, um, running the small business is very much about being able to provide the level of service that I think is appropriate for our clients. So um, we're able to control that then when you run your own business. The thing I enjoy the most is, is the flexibility that uh, the owning your own business provides me. and. Being having time for my kids and, and things like that, so and playing golf or playing tennis or you know taking a day off here and there when I want and I'm not irking the boss. So certainly for me it's the flexibility and having my destiny in my own hands as well. I like the flexibility that it gives me as a mum um, who wants to continue working. Um, not to say that it doesn't uh, mean that I live and breathe the business but um, it, it does enable me to have a bit more of a lifestyle that I may not get if I was in the corporate world. I like getting out and meeting people and learning about their businesses, what they do, how they do it, and it just fasc fascinates me the way different businesses operate. The part I like best, Joanne, is about the flexibility of being a small business. You get freedom, you get the opportunity to make your own choices, and I just love the part about building a great team around us. I love the flexibility of my lifestyle. Um, I work five minutes from home. Um, I have a terrific client base. I have a, a great little business. Um, I, I used to work in the city um, and the, the lifestyle change for me has just been unbelievable. I've got more time with family um, and friends and yeah, I just, I just love the flexibility and, uh, and, and running my own show and being in control of my life. It would have to be the flexibility of small business, but probably most importantly is helping clients reduce the complexity in their financial life and seeing them achieve the outcomes they're, they're aiming to achieve. The thing I like about small business is the fact that you can be responsive and be quick in making decisions and making things happen, and that to our customers we can do the same things. We can get back to them quickly rather than uh, the delays that you have when you're dealing with, with larger companies. The biggest challenge show is being spread too thin, um, trying to manage a large workload with uh, a limited staff. Um, and as you grow the business, and as my sales funnel is, is successful, uh, trying to then manage the clients and, and cater to the clients and deliver what they need uh, is the biggest challenge. And, and how do you scale up incrementally? So you're not taking on a whole new person as an employee but taking on sort of parts of a person to handle the workload. Connecting with your target audience and that helps coming to these meetings, but finding your niche and target audience and meshing those, that's the biggest challenge I've, I've found out of um, moving from corporate to small business. But that's all part of it, isn't it? One of the biggest challenges is really all the compliance side of running a business. So it's, you know, things like your GST, workers' comp, payroll, um, what actually constitutes a contractor. There's just so many laws and regulations around everything and it pulls you away from actually being uh, doing your business and being good at what you're particularly good at. Probably staff. I think staff is always, you know, finding good staff is a, is a key one when you're a small business because you're worried about you know taking on that wrong staff member but when you do find those right ones it, it can really make a huge difference to your business so for me finding staff is, is always something that is a concern but I know they're out there somewhere I've just got to track them down. Always HR and finding the right people at, um, and being able to afford the right people we're fairly tight on resources uh, infrastructure costs employment costs taxes, everything means that we have to travel fairly leanly, which means that if we have staff away as a small business owner and I'm in partnership, 
we're often drawn back into the business and the reality is we need to be working on the business and not in the business. Regulatory requirements in running a small business. There's so many pieces of legislation that you have to comply with and it's difficult to, uh, to do that and to make sure you're on the right side of the law even though that, that is my business in uh, providing advice in that regard. Continue to be regulations but of course we're in the taxation business and regulations and legislation changes all the time. Unfortunately there's this freedom, uh, financial advice legislation which is just a real pain for us accountants having to become more qualified. So there will continue to be change this area. So it's a challenge but you take challenges on don't you? Uh, finding the right customer for my business and uh, the services that I offer. We've had you know, hit and miss success over the last couple of years, um, but um, yeah, we're trying to get that balance right and trying to get the right customer into the business. Certainly attracting clients, um, that's always challenging. The, the negative press that the financial services industry have been receiving over the last five or so years has been a, a big challenge, but I think we're starting to overcome that. Some of the challenges are dealing with government departments that expect you to do something on time but when there's something that you need from them, it takes forever to get the, the results. 